Hey guys, welcome back to WeHoTimes.com and our segment Ask Ken. Uh, we really appreciate your questions that have been coming in and this week's question has to do with sober sex. Uh oh, yeah. sober sex. Not fun, I'm just kidding. Um, I am <laughs> well, it could be. It could be, yeah. And it will be. Yeah. I am six months sober and I have not had sober sex yet. Every time I think of having sex, I remember I used to have sex with three different guys and then and then go home and still be horny and I would have to beat off. It was never ending and it was never enough. Does the obsession to have nonstop sex go away or will I be awakening the beast within if I decided to have sex? Wow, powerful. Oh my God, I think really what you need to do is look at process addictions because it may be that you're dealing with a sex addiction on top of your drug addiction and you know you went abstinence which you have to do with your drug addiction but going abstinence with sex addiction is humanly impossible you're going to have that urge and you're going to have to do it at some point so i would look at getting a therapist and figuring out if you are dealing with a sex addiction, because going and having multiple partners, I mean, that's normal in the gay community. We all do that. But the reality is, is going and doing that, going home, having more sex, and then feeling like you're still not fulfilled, that's a sex addiction. So really look at that. And maybe as you're working on that, you'll learn how to have um, I don't want to say normal sex because I don't think there is any such thing, but you'll learn how to connect with a human and having sex being more of an experience and more of lovemaking versus something that is that urge of not feeling content in here and trying to fulfill something that will never, ever, ever be fulfilled. So work on that and I really think that you have a great opportunity because he did mention it and he is interested in learning on it. So having the awareness around it is the biggest part. Okay, so I have a follow-up question. Okay. Uh, that I've, what, what are the, uh, I guess, the bullet points when it comes to asking yourself if you have a sex addiction problem or sex addiction? Sex sure, addiction. Yeah. sure, yeah, no, I think that's a great question because you know a lot of people out there, you know, like him having that self-awareness by just knowing that maybe something isn't right. Maybe I go, I cross that, lit that bar, I cross that line, you know, and just like you do with drug addiction, you cross that line and every time you cross it, it takes numerous times before you really realize, oh my God, this may be an issue. So by him being able to see, I would say, look for how often you have to have sex, look for if it's anonymous sex, look for if it's, you know, how many partners you're having it with, and then look for if it's, you know, if you gotta continue to masturbate, because that's a huge part of it. All right, guys, thank you so much for your question. Keep them coming. And it could be love addiction, too. That's another one. So looking into love addiction. Great. Thank you. Thanks.